Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I go for all things accounting, finance, excel and investment related so if you like this kind of stuff then please do consider subscribing and otherwise I'm going to jump straight into the video. So in today's video we're going to have a look at the different methods of inventory valuation that you can perform. So I'm going to go through an example with FIFO and an example with AVCO using the same information that you typically see in a question. So if you don't know what FIFO is, basically it just means first in first out so with fifo the first so the oldest cost prices are always used when goods are issued from stores so that just means that when the remaining inventory is valued it's going to be valued at the most recent cost prices because those old cost prices those old goods are used first now avco just stands for the weighted average cost and in that method a weighted average cost is calculated for the inventory that's held at any given time. So all you do there is take the total cost of inventory held and divide that by the number of items held. So with AVCO, a new weighted average has to be calculated every time that further purchases are made because your total cost of inventory changes as those new purchases are made. So let's have a look at a question. If you are having a look at a question in an exam, or if you're having a look at stock yourself that you've got on your books, then you might want to set it out in this format where you've got your receipts, your issues and your balance. So this here, this issues is basically the same as selling stock in effect. If you're not familiar with that term. Whereas this one over here is you buying stock. And the balance is just the balance of any stock held, the quantity that you've got, the cost, cost per kg, etc. So this cost per kg is actually going to change when we use FIFO compared to what it's going to be when we go ahead and use AVCO down here. So again, AVCO is just the average weighted cost of that inventory. And I'll go through this and show you exactly how it's worked out. So do not worry. So what we're being told on a card, in effect, is that we've got these certain quantities that are being purchased and certain quantities that are being issued at a set point in time and how much the cost per kilogram, so cost per kg, is for that particular stock. So we're going to fill both of these out at the same time so you can see the difference or the similarities. So up here in our balance on the 1st of September, so this one here, it's going to look pretty much the same for both. So my quantity is I have 4,000 kilograms and that's costing £6 per kilogram and it's exactly the same under AVCO, that's not changing at all. So we can tick this one off. So if you don't know how to produce ticks in Excel, if you just change this to Marla at the top here, if you click on A that gives you a tick and if you click on R it gives you an X. So we're going to go down one by one here. So on the 15th of September, we've then purchased 3,000 kilograms of stock. Now, as is typical when buying stock, prices can fluctuate unless you've got a bulk order, a bulk deal going on where they're not going to fluctuate. But in this case, they are. So our cost per kg now is £4.50, which makes the total cost of that stock at that time that you've purchased 13500 and that's not going to be any different for the AVCO method. So what you're purchasing isn't going to change at all. So we can put a tick next to this one. Next on the 19th of September, we have 2,500 kilograms that have been purchased. And that's now seven pound per kg, which, which seems a bit of a rip off, but hey ho. And we're gonna pop that down there as well under the AVCO method. So you can see here again, that those totals are not changing. So it's this down here, this 25th of September, when we then get rid of stock, that we need to calculate how much that's going to be. So we're just going to fill in this balance quickly for these other two on the 15th and 19th. So we've got 7,000 kg. Just make the formatting correct. So we've got 7,000 kg here that we've purchased. So our quantity on the 15th of September is going to be this 4,000 plus this 3,000 that we've purchased. Now, so our total cost is the 24,000 pounds 
that we've got here on the 1st of September plus the 13,500 that we've got over here. And here with our cost per kg we've got an amount for £4.50 and for £6. So our quantity in kg here we've now got the 2,500 plus the 7,000 and our total cost is going to be the 37,500 plus 17,000 500 and we can do that same thing again below so you can see here that our total cost as at the 19th of september is 55,000 for both however when we come down to selling on the 25th of september this is where things are going to differ so we're going to be selling 5,500 kg of stock however only 4,000 kg of our stock is at £6 per kg that we can see here. So we want 4,000 here with 6. So that's going to give us our 24,000. But we also need a further 1,500 of stock. So that's then going to be at this next price of £4.50 because we've used up all of the stock that was at £6. So we now need to use up some of this over here. So if we do the same again, then that means we're going to sell 5,500 kg of stock at 30,750 or at 5.59 pounds per kg. So if we look at what's left then after that, we've got a total balance of 4,000 kg. However, if we were to split this out further, what we could say is that actually we have 1,500 kg of that stock at £4.50 and we've got 2,500 of that stock at £7. So the total cost of that remaining stock is 24,250 after we've issued 5,500 kg of that stock. Now if we look at Avco, again this is going to be slightly different, so let's just make a little bit of room. So here we have £55,000 worth of stock and 9,500 kg of stock. So all we actually need to do is find out what the average cost per kg is at that given moment in time. And we can see there that that is £5.79. So if we take our 5,500 kg of stock over here and we times that by £5.79, and that gives us 31,845. And if you're wondering how this £5.79 has been worked out, it is just a case of taking, taking this total cost divided by total quantity here. That's all. So in other words, equals 55,000 divided by 9,500. That's all. So here, after we've issued this stock, we're only going to be left again with £4,000 worth of stock. And that's going to have a total cost of 23155 So that's it. So in a question, the only other thing that you might want to be aware of is that they might ask for the cost per kg in two decimal places, one decimal place, or maybe even three decimal places. But other than that, it's as simple as that. So I hope you found this video useful. Do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or if you like the style of this video, leave a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions around FIFO, LIFO, AVCO, um, any of the inventory valuation models, and I'll do my best to get back to you. But otherwise, consider subscribing, and I shall see you on the next video.